What is this thing? Let's see, it's a compact four-door wagon, looks sporty but practical, kind of like a next-generation Toyota Matrix. But wait, is it possible? A Lexus badge? That can't be right. Lexus is the purveyor of soft sedans and SUVs for sensible adults in their autumn years. It's true, Lexus is striking out in an all-new direction. The CT200H is a compact wagon aimed at a more youthful audience. And just to keep us on our toes, they made it a hybrid. So what's the CT200H all about? First, it's small, at least by Lexus standards. This dipping roof line makes it feel a little claustrophobic in the back seat, but by compact car standards, yeah, it's comfortable enough. With a little more than 14 cubic feet of space, cargo room is just okay by wagon standards. For perspective, the diminutive Honda Fit offers more than 20 cubic feet. Peek around the cabin and everything looks Lexus. Soft touch materials abound, here, here, and here, where it feels like a marshmallow. There's also this bamboo strip of trim right here, which is neat looking, but it only appears right here, so it feels a little tacked on. Perhaps in an effort to keep the interior from feeling overly feminine, the designers have added surfaces like this that are kind of rough. They also have it right here behind the steering wheel. It's no nail file, but you can get a pretty good buff out of it. The audio system looks positively old school and sits at a weird angle. What, no tape player? The big question is, how does it drive? Answer, it drives well. I actually really like the steering. It's got this big, thick BMW style steering wheel. It feels tight and responsive. And there's actually a lot of grip, or more than you'd expect, from the low rolling resistance tires. I should also mention that the regenerative brakes are among the most natural I've experienced in a hybrid. Yep, all is good, until you press the throttle. Right, it's a hybrid. It's one thing you'll never forget when driving the CT200H. It might look quick, but looking quick doesn't help you when you're leaving from a stoplight. Acceleration zero to 60 takes 9.8 seconds. Not all that impressive. By hybrid standards, the powertrain of the CT200H is pretty refined. Power delivery is smooth. The start-stop action of the engine is barely noticeable, but with 134 horsepower combined, eh, Acceleration is just underwhelming, which is a bummer considering the CT200H looks pretty cool and handles really well. In spite of a lack of power, Lexus does its best to keep the drive interesting. With this little knob here, you can put it in sport mode, which magically creates a tachometer in the gauge cluster, turns the interior lighting theme to red, and sharpens the throttle response. You can also go the other direction and switch to eco mode, assuming you're the kind of driver that has nowhere important to be. And during the dull throttle response should qualify you as some sort of eco saint. <music> Lastly, the CT200H can be driven in pure electric mode, but only for a mile and only up to 28 miles an hour. If you can think of a use for this feature, we'd love to hear it. The base price for the CT200H is a hint below $30,000 making it the least expensive Lexus you can buy. It's also the most efficient, delivering up to 43 miles per gallon in the city and 40 on the highway. All told, the CT200H is either a puddle half full or half empty. Did Lexus sully a potentially exhilarating sport wagon by saddling it with a hybrid powertrain? Or did they elevate a humble hybrid by making it handle and look aggressive? It's tough to say. I'm sure there are people that want a car with the heart of a Prius and the attitude of a Mazda Speed 3, the question is, how many? I guess we'll find out pretty soon. <laughs>